Welcome back to the channel everybody, MTG Tome Scour here, and tonight is pre-release night. I myself did not go to my pre-release event in my LGS because, well, I got a sick family and I'm starting to feel a little sick too. So, went to my LGS, picked up a couple boxes of pre-release kits, and here we are. We're going to open them up and see if we can find anything good. So let's look at kit number one. See if we find, it'd be nice if I could actually like... I don't know, cut the box open with the scissors. That would be cool. All right, let's see if y'all saw the set booster box I opened. It was okay. Not the greatest of uh, hits in there, but pretty decent nonetheless. Didn't see that Tia Met in there. We'll put this off to the side. Also, one of these uh, pre-release kit codes for MTG Arena. I'll give that out at the end of the video. Somebody, whoever grabs it first, gets six free packs on arena all right so this is pretty cool that that does come with uh three foil tokens in here and it's got three foil uh dungeons in here for pre-release so if you do go to the pre-release uh, and you're doing some dungeon strategies it's kind of cool that you get uh those foils to go along with it so i like that so we'll check out uh this one here in just a moment we'll set that up top and get ready for it and nice little insert here with this guy i don't know who he is but uh i don't know looks kind of cool all right six packs let's see what we can pull out of this first one wonder what kind of deck if this is the, the pack that i got at pre-release if i were were to have gone what i would have uh, built so let's see here don't really know a whole lot about this set yet um what's good and what's not so we got werewolf, werewolf pack leader so it looks like we'll be Maybe in some green action to start out with. All right, what do we get for uncommons here? Wild shape, make some turtles and some elephants and some spiders or something. All right, that's cool. All right, so we got the werewolf pack leader in the first pack. Hopefully, we can get a couple of mythics out of here. Maybe a couple of the, maybe one of the borderless cards. That would be nice to see that. Um, I did pick up a Volo at my shop today because I want to build it, so I just bought one from them. Um, all right, then we got teleportation circles, so nothing too great so far. Uh, I also picked up an old Gnawbone while I was there, uh, so I got those cards ready to go into my Volo deck uh, that I'm going to be building here soon. Um, but let's see if we can get something good out of these packs. So far, nothing great. Oh, there we go. There's a nice Mythic. I've not pulled that one yet. So we got the Tarrasque, a big old legendary dinosaur. 10-10 uh, for 10 with Ward 10. Cool. And we got a foil. And it's just a common foil out the back there. All right. So first three packs, we did get a Tarrasque. So that's kind of cool. Got ourselves a Mythic. I don't think the thing's going to be worth very much. Might be like a very much a bulk Mythic Rare in the future. Don't see too much. So uh, tell me, did you go to your pre-release? Did you pull something good? Did you come up with a cool deck? What kind of strategy did you go with? Let me know down in the comments. And we got a Triumphant Adventurer. Okay, so nothing too great here. Maybe we'll keep this mythic up top to sort of keep things separate here. That might be cool, right? Let's see what we get. All right, uh, on to pack number five of the first pre-release kit. So definitely it looks like we'd be going green. I don't know how we get up to 10 mana to play Tarrasque. I mean, that seems like it'd be a little difficult to play in limited. Unless, of course, there's some kind of ramp in this, but I'm not sure if there is. I'm not sure if I saw that or not. All right. See if we can get something cool. Evolving Wilds there. All right. Berwin, Cloyster, Telesara, and Nadar, Selfless Paladin. All right. So nothing too fancy there. So this looks like this first pack is kind of a dud. I want to see that white card, that white creature that tutors up uh, artifacts. That seems like that would be a pretty decent card to have in some artifact decks. All right. We got a Wizard's Spellbook here. So... I don't know, looking at the rares, let's see. What would we do with this? Maybe we wouldn't go green. Maybe some white and black action might be pretty good. I don't know. White and black might be okay. All right. So nothing too fancy out of that pack. Let's see what we get for the promo, which I never seem to do well on. Ugh. Yep. Doesn't seem too good there either. The Sorcerer's class. I don't know. Maybe it's okay. All right. Um, well, let's see. Should we open this up now? Let's see what we got here. I think the arena code is in here. So, there we go. I will have this on the camera for a second. If you watch my channel, 
you know, hopefully you're a subscriber, you see this, you want some free packs in Arena, and we're able to go to pre-release, there's the code right there. First come, first serve. Whoever gets it, let me know in the comments if you are the one who claimed it. I would love to know who got that, all right? Okay, let's see. Pack number two. Here we go. That one was not so great. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool getting that Tarrasque, but I don't think it's going to be a very uh, valuable one, per se. All right. So we'll set this one off to the side, up here, up top. Put our tokens down here. Another token, one of those. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can do better. I saw, man, people pulling some pretty good stuff out of these, but uh, I have not, it's not been the case for us. Not very good over here. All right, we got Lurking Roper, that cool artwork. I kind of like that. All right, and then we got another teleportation circle. Ouch. Looking pretty rough. You figure if you buy two of these, you have better luck to get some good pulls, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case for this one. I, I don't know. Maybe, like, after, you know, MH2 coming out and, like, all those great cards. All right. Well, here comes the card that got banned in Standard 2022, the Book of Exalted Deeds. Pretty neat card, but... Um, but yeah, after opening a bunch of MH2 packs, this just seems like just super underwhelming. I mean, I don't know if they should have put this set out like, you know, a month after MH2 came out because it just sort of like gets some fatigue going on. Um, you have to open up so many great cards in that set and then seeing these, you're just kind of like, ugh, I don't know. Instrument of the Bards. Hmm. Okay. And a Dwarf Hold Champion Foil. All right. Well, keep going. See if we can get that Tiamat. Love to see that. All right. Got our commons. Uncommons. Purple Worm, which is a green creature. All right. And Yuan T. Malison. Snake Rogue. Oof. These packs. Not so great. Pretty disappointing. Maybe we'll get a big hit here. Come on. Got, oh, we do get a full art one here. What is that? The uh, Evolving Wilds? Yep. Got the Evolving Wilds. That's kind of cool, I suppose. All right, a couple more of these. And a Forsworn Paladin. Awful. That pack, I think I think this, uh, this pre-release kit is even worse than the last one. Did I get dice in these things? Were there dice in there? Down at the bottom? Oh, there they are. There's a white one in there. And this one, I didn't know they're down at the bottom. Another white one. Two white dice. All right. They're not spin downs, they're just regular, they're different type of dice. We do got like one of those extended arts back there. Which one is it? It's one of the land. Oh, it might be a foil actually, so that's kind of cool. All right, another Nadar. So we got a lot of like duplicate stuff going on here. That's not cool. And then we got Den of the Hug Bear, the foil um, book looking thing. Is that a good land? What does it do? If you control two or more of the lands, Den has to have. Uh, down the big bear becomes three two goblin. Uh, okay, well that's that's nice. Okay, come on, let's see something good out of this. Let's see, be something good. Oh, ho, ho, ho. now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a nice hit. Like I said, I just picked up a regular one of these at uh, my LGS, and now I got a foil one, which is a lot better. So I think. Uh, yeah, that may be worth right now what the pre-release kit is, uh, one pre-release kit is worth. So we got our money back on that one, I suppose. So I guess that's pretty cool. Nice hit there in the end to close out the video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you gently tap that like and subscribe button. And we will see you the next time.